Good afternoon, my name is Chris Brill and I'm the executive chef uh, for Iowa Meats and Cecil's Meat Farms. Today we're going to be talking about ribs, the anatomy of the ribs and how to cook foolproof fall off the bone ribs uh, every single time. Your choice of ribs depends on what you're looking for. Uh, if you take the spare rib and we cut along this fat line here and trim the ends off, we get what we're going to cook today which is known as the St. Louis style rib. So with ribs, we're going to do what's called the steaming method. It is a foolproof do-ahead method to get perfect ribs every single time. So we're going to make a simple rub today that's kind of southwestern in flavor. Okay, so we want to take this mixture, we want to rub it pretty generously uh, on both sides of the rack of ribs. Okay, ribs are, are they're tough. Uh, there's meat there, but there, it's tough. Wherever you have bone and meat connecting, you're going to get a lot of connective tissue. Uh, so we need a, a liquid to help break down that connective tissue and also give it some flavor and keep the moisture in it. Today we're going to go with a local brew, uh, Stone Smoked Porter. All right, we got them seasoned, we got the liquid in there. Now we're going to cook them in the oven. Now time and temperature are going to be related. You could do these at a lower temperature for a longer time, or if, you want, you know, if you're hungry, you want to eat sooner, you can bump up the temperature. So we're going to slide these in the oven. Okay, after about two hours, your house is smelling good. We're going to take them out of the oven and check them. So to tell the ribs is done, you can grab a bone and gently twist it and see how loose it is inside the uh, meat. We put the ribs on, and now we're going to get the smoky grilled flavor on it and get a nice crust. It's now ready to finish up the ribs and put the sauce on. Today we're going to go with a uh, BJ Smokehouse Barbecue from uh, Missouri. Okay, we're not done once we put the sauce on. We want to put it back on the grill and allow that sauce to kind of caramelize. Okay, they're tender, they're moist. They are ready to go. 